other industries around the world have been disrupted by companies that take advantage of digital working. And uh, our industry is just in the beginning part of this. Uh, and we have two choices. We're at the fork in the road. We can either learn ourselves and reform ourselves as an industry, or a disruptor will come, taking advantage of the huge need in our industry to leverage big data that is present in all building and infrastructure work. And we can either make this change by ourselves using uh, better education and, uh, 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 in, and, and organizations such as mine, Building Smart International, or someone else will come. And when they disrupt our industry, many of us will lose our livelihood. It will be changed. If you look at other industries, such as, um, such as uh, newspapers, newspaper business has been disrupted by uh, digital media. And I think you, you both are representative of digital media. And now instead of reading a newspaper with our hands, we all read it on our smartphones or a tablet. This is the kind of disruption that also must come to our industry. But we can either guide it ourselves and lead that effort, or we can become victim by it, victimized by it, so that someone else, maybe not in our industry now, but someone who knows how to work with big data, will do it for us, and we may not like the result. You know, Building Smart has been uh, in existence for now more than 20 years. And when we began our work, we believed that uh, BIM was the right answer, and that if we could get to a set of digital open standards around intelligent BIM, that's the answer. Now we learn something new, that uh, we also need what's called a data dictionary. And a data dictionary properly employed means that people around the world will be able to specify, design, buy and install parts and pieces of buildings. Buildings these days are, are mostly made of things that are manufactured in a factory someplace. The process of getting those pieces specified, ordered, delivered, and installed at the building site is the job of the contractor. And we have now discovered this huge need for a data dictionary to facilitate the open, uh, the op an open marketplace for buying and selling of equipment and parts and pieces of buildings. So that's a new part of our mission at Building Smart, is to create this open standards data dictionary. Well, for the data dictionary and for Open BIM, I think our main challenge still is that many of the participants in the building industry, architects, engineers, contractors, and building owners, many are still not ready to wholeheartedly adopt uh, these new digital standards. Many people were trained in the old ways and change is difficult, quite difficult. So we look to the young people who are coming up now in the ranks of architects, engineers, contractors to really wholeheartedly adopt this. We say, if you want to do something digital, ask a young person. And uh, so younger people, I think, will lead this change. Yes, education is uh, a major part of this, uh, of this solution. Young people in universities who are studying architecture, engineering, or construction need to have a good digital education and grounding. They need to learn to work digitally, just as I learned to work with pencil and paper. They need to work in a new way. And the young people coming out of universities are still being educated, for the most part, by professors and teachers who do not yet fully understand this. 
some universities have accepted this challenge and become quite uh, digitally uh, uh, adept, and others are still behind. So it's a matter of spreading the word that the old ways do not work any longer. We must all make this change, even if it's difficult. We, we really have no choice.